Good evening, Simon here, Explosive Action, and I am back for a very small action movie update. Got a pile of DVDs and one Blu-ray here. Let's get into it. So this all action movie DVD and Blu-ray update comes with a community service announcement, at least for those of us in Australia. Amazon Germany and Amazon UK, but particularly Germany, have lifted the ban. We can now order from Amazon.de and Co.uk. Possibly some others. I checked Japan, you still can't there, but at least Germany and the UK, first time since the middle of 2018, I think, we can now order from their website. So, yeah, I had a cart that was waiting and I just literally picked it up. Did a bit of pruning, but some of the stuff that I wanted was still there and I just grabbed it and some more, as you can see here. We'll get into those in a second. The very first thing on top did not come from there. I got this one from eBay. This one I kind of tripped over and realized, wow, this was a Serio Santiago movie I was missing. It turns out I'm missing a couple other ones too from his, his uh, available ones anyway. But this one, didn't even know there was an Australian release. This is One Man Army. Look at that kickboxing kick. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Uh, this stars Jerry Trimble. Um, and uh, yeah, this is from about... Oh, I think it's about like 1991 or so. Haven't seen this one before. There's a, another film in Sirio's uh, filmography called uh, Live by the Fist, which also stars Jerry Trimble. And it's what you think it's gonna be. Um, it's it's kickboxing. And, and here we are again, a one-man army and kickboxing. So yeah, and it's a local release out on Payless. Had no idea it was a thing. Here we are, so yeah, happy to have it and check it out. Now, I will also mention for all of these, I quickly put them in, I haven't watched them yet, I put them in just to check the quality, um, have something a bit, bit to talk about there, particularly around the German releases. Uh, this is an Australian release, the quality is okay. It's very much, uh, it's not coming from a VHS, but geez, it's an old master, that's for sure. But you're not gonna get any better. One Man Army, 1990, 91, Serio Santiago film probably shot in the Philippines it's as good as you're gonna get and uh, yeah I'm I'm looking forward to checking this one out it looks explosive I mean come on I'll read a bit from the back here in this war he's all we need kickboxing champ Jerry golden boy Trimble plays a straight shooting man caught up in the politics of a crooked little town to get to the truth about his grandfather's death he must first kick out the criminals, including the sheriff, effectively putting an end to their illegal smuggling, gambling, and prostitution rings. But the worst crime of all turns out to be in his very own backyard. This is just a laundry list of ticking off all the cliches. Amazing stuff. And yeah, look, there's a kicking of the of the the, uh, the boxing bag there, and it still hits some guy in the face. Fantastic stuff. So yeah, looking forward to checking out One Man Army. And that's the Australian one. now. Everything else here was from my very first DVD and Blu-ray order from Amazon Germany in three years. Uh, maybe, it was, is it four years now? I don't remember if it was middle 2018 or middle 2019. It was just so long ago. But anyway, here is the stack. Let's get into them. The very first one. Oh, so happy to get this one. Legit DVD release, finally. Master Blaster. Oh, man. Uh, starring Jeff Moldovan. Uh, he's done a couple of later Trances sequels. He was in Cop Target. Um, you know, nothing huge uh, in, in the realms of things that I've been watching anyway. And um, look at that cover. Isn't that amazing? Like, he's holding a gun, but the gun is a girl. I think that artwork is fantastic. The artwork for the old Australian VHS on CBS Fox, I'll put here. That's what it used to look like. And that's the tape I had in the way back when. It's a good, fun film. Um, action, explosive, it's kind of paintballing really. Like there's the paintball guns, um, but you know, deadly paintball. I can't read from the back of any of these now because they're all in German, but anyway, uh, that's the German release there. Now, if you're actually a bit fresh and you've never bought German releases, a few things. Um, when they say uncut, don't take it for granted. You've got to do your research and even then you might actually not be right but I'm pretty sure with this stack I'm okay but it's uh, yeah it can be lies the second thing to do is to learn some key German words so you know what's going on one of the ones that's definitely worth learning is Wendekover 
Vendor cover, I don't know, but what that means is it's a reversible cover. German DVDs uh, and Blu-rays often come with their ratings advice sticker, which is written on the label. That's facing outwards, flip it over and you don't get it. I wish Australian discs were like that, uh, but we could, we could learn from the Germans and that one. But anyway, that's what that means. That's definitely one of the key phrases. If you see the word when to cover, on the cover, it means you'll be able to flip it over. So anyway, this is, uh, yeah, as I said, it's a good fun action film um, from, it's quite early, it's like 1982, I think. And uh, it's only 81 minutes long. And most of these DVDs all came out through a company called Cargo Records in Germany. There's one or two that aren't, but most of them are. Now, I'm not too sure on the legitimate, like, legitimate, legitimacy, it's like, of that company, but I mean, they're real discs, they're pressed, and the quality is a little better than you might expect. I was going into all these DVDs expecting VHS on, like, DVDs. They're all a little bit better than that. They're, they're using definitely unremastered uh, film stock or just the old uh, master tapes used to run off the original videotapes and the original laser discs. That's generally what you get. It's just the old beta cams that were run off in the you know, 1990 or something, and they just use the same ones. That's what I think is going on with, with these German releases because there are hundreds of them, and there's more and more coming out all the time of these little action films that everybody else has forgotten about. So anyway, a bit of a tangent there about your, your German releases if you're not, if you're not uh, that familiar with ordering from Germany. But anyway, there you go, Master Blaster. Very happy to have that one. All right, the next one. This one, another one I've had, I think it was Palace. I think it was a Palace video. Lady Avenger, great cover. Another thing to learn about German DVDs. Often there are variant covers. This one could be purchased with this cover or this cover. That one's kind of cool. It is a bit more horror movie-ish. And from what I recall, this movie is somewhere in between kind of sci-fi-ish, horror-ish, action-ish, but look, that's the cover we had in Australia. That's the one I wanted on this DVD. Um, can't really, again, show you much on the back because it's all in German, but um, again, quality, put it in the test, and it was uh, above my expectations, but still, you know, temper your expectations. They're all full screen, and uh, yeah, I'm just happy to have them. Lady Avenger, look at that. Outstanding, another one with a Wender cover. Uh, stars uh, Peggy Sanders, to Tony Joseph, ja uh, Jacqueline Lehman, Daniel Hirsch, Bill Butler. Uh, and who directed this thing? Oh yeah, that's right, it's a David Decotto. Um, so yeah, slightly campy, but anyway, there you go. Lady Avenger, happy to have that one. Next one, thrilled, thrilled to have this one. And this was another tape that I got to put to sleep. It's now in a box. That's what a lot of the theme here is, if you've not worked out, is me just getting rid of tapes and getting them onto DVDs. This one, stoked. Uh, I actually knew this one was coming out. Uh, I was going to get it from my old German importing shop, Grooves, uh, Grooves Land, I think it's what they're called. And they're fine, but if Amazon's going to do it for me now, these things all arrived in one week. Amazon Couriers, very good. Blood Street. Blood Street, uh, aka Eyes of the Dragon 2. No idea what that is. Um, this is essentially the sequel to Low Blow. It's got Richard Norton in it. There he is there. That's the cover of the Australian VHS. But this is a Leo Fong movie. Leo Fong plays the same inept private eye that he did in Low Blow. That's why this movie rules. It's, um, oh, it's a lot of fun. This one's a lot of fun. It's, <laughs> yeah, Leo Fong, Richard Norton, uh, Chuck Jeffries, Stan Wertler's Kim Page, and written and directed by Leo Fong himself, just like Low Blow was. Um, the Australian DVD of Low Blow surprised me because that one's like a full anamorphic widescreen, really nice print. This one uh, is not widescreen, it's full screen, but again, it's a decent enough print. Runs at 80 minutes. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's Blood Street. It's Leo Fong. Another one, reversible cover, a Wender cover. Another one, I believe, out on, yes, Cargo Records. So there you go. Um, if you liked Low Blow, check out Blood Street as well. It's just got your same silly action um, and Leo Fong being Leo Fong. This one, yeah, I got part two in this series. I think it was a few months ago. I even showed it in an update and that was really easy to get. Amazon Australia, for some reason, had copies. I don't know why. So that was easy to get. 
but I couldn't get this one easy enough and now I have Bloodsport 3 and 4 double feature. Why do they get this? They are in widescreen. These are the only widescreen releases that I am aware of. Are they the best looking prints? No. Honestly, your full screen VHS probably is sharper, but it's still good. They are widescreen, they are anamorphic, they are how the film was shot. I'm happy to have it. They're just very washed out kind of looking prints. Um, yeah, they're just yeah, a bit, bit washed out, a bit dark. Um, could be better for sure, but I will always take a correct aspect ratio over something that's been cropped anyway. So there you go, Bloodsport 3 and 4. There's the um, other side. This one has a Wender cover as well. And um, yeah, obviously at this point, uh, Van Damme is long gone. And um, yeah, we got uh, Daniel Bernhardt here instead. So yeah, very, very happy to have Bloodsport 3 and 4. Part 4 is quite mental from memory. And uh, yeah, there we go. Bloodsport 3 and 4. One disc, nice anamorphic widescreen. There you go. Fantastic. The next one is a staple in public domain action multi-packs. I know of at least three different Australian DVDs of this thing with different covers. And like I said, it's been in so many multi-packs. Does it deserve it to be in so many multi-packs? It's not the world's best action film, but I do have fun with it. And now I have it in widescreen and I love the cover art on this one. This one's Laser Mission. <laughs> Look at that, amazing cover art. This one's uh, with Brandon Lee, so that's definitely the selling point on this film. It's uh, you know not top tier Brandon Lee, let's just make sure we get that out of the way. Uh, but you also get Ernest Bergnine, which is good fun. And that cover art, look at this thing. Isn't that amazing? You've got Bergnine in a jewel. You've got explosion over there and some kickboxing and some very 007 looking uh, uh, Brandon Lee over there. Laser Mission logo as the back. Yeah, so look, I enjoy this one. It's good fun. I'm actually looking forward to sitting down with this in anamorphic finally after watching one of those horrible multi-pack discs there it is there but um yeah you know it's no showdown in little tokyo or anything like that it is uh yes yeah, it's, it's lower tier of course it's not the crow um yeah. very much not so so in uh, those leagues so anyway laser mission um yeah brandon lee debbie monahan ernest borgnine werner popkath Richard Cox, Graham Clark, and directed by B.J. Davis there. It's got even more explosions on the back. So there you go. Laser Mission, the German DVD, anamorphic widescreen. Stoked to get it. These are all very cheap as well. In terms of Australian dollars, we're talking about 20 bucks. In terms of Euro, I think they're like 10, maybe 11 Euro. These things are cheap, right? And that's what I was missing out on from Amazon Germany is that these things are cheap. Unfortunately, our Prime does not work outside of Australian Prime, but uh, the shipping is not too bad, especially when you get quite a lot of things. Uh, speaking of quite a lot of things, oh man, I had to get this one in the car, absolutely. Street Night, Jeff Speakman. I do love Jeff Speakman's movies. Uh, Perfect Weapon is a fantastic action film. I assume a lot of you have seen that one. Um, he definitely got rubbed the wrong way, got a bit of the the raw edge from Hollywood. He should have been a bigger star. They were trying to make him the next Seagal. Politics, things happened, it didn't work out for him. He did Perfect Weapon, The Expert, Street Night, pretty much it, might have been one more. And they're very hard to get, very hard to get. So anyway, uh, very happy to have this one. Uh, not widescreen, this one's in full screen, but um, yeah, it's a good film from him. Again, it's just more of him being sort of the one man cop kind of deal. Uh, Jeff Speakman, Christopher Neem, Louis Van Bergen, Jennifer Garty, Bernie Casey, Richard Coker, and Stephen Liska. Don't know who those people are. Um, but it is directed by Albert Magnoli. So there you go. Nice German release of Street Night, also called Gebalte Faust, which I think is not translating Street Night. It translates to this, whatever that is. Um, so no idea what the go is with that. But anyway, very happy to have that one. On DVD finally this one is another VHS upgrade my tape of this one no longer tracked that was why I was so excited to get this one I didn't care what it looked like because 
look, my tape, my tape didn't track, so anything was up from there. Thankfully, this DVD looks really good. It's not widescreen, but it looks really good. Open Fire, David Carradine. This one's a pretty good uh, kind of war action thing, a post-war action movie. David Carradine, Bruce Lai. There you go. Bit of a Bruce Lee, fake Bruce Lee action in there. And Hugo Stiglitz. Um, yeah, this is this is a good fun one. Um, very much your your action movie VHS rental kind of staple. And uh, yeah, I'm just totally stoked to have this one. Um, yeah, directed by Roger Mende. Um, I did look up what else he did. Not very many films, maybe three or four. Um, but uh, yeah, not ones I was familiar with. Ein Kickboxer will Virgil Tung. Well, it's got Kickboxer in it and a bunch of German. So anyway, Open Fire. Another one with a Wender cover, which you can't see through here, but it also has an alternate version cover, which was pretty cool. Check it out there. And uh, yeah, David Carradine did a lot of B action films, a lot more than people think. I think people these days think he's the guy from Kill Bill. He is Bill. And then if you go back in time, well, he was in the Kung Fu series, but there's a lot of stuff in the middle that's just very small action films. And uh, Open Fire is another one of those. So yeah, stoked to have this one and the tape that no longer plays can go in the bin. Good stuff. This one is one of my first VHS that I bought back in 2010 or so when I was rebuying VHS, you know, getting into the collecting of films on VHS. And, um, yeah, I was stoked to get it. It was one of the first reviews I put on my site, explosiveaction.com. I do still do reviews sometimes. I should do more. But now I have it on DVD, a legit DVD. There is a American, what they call it, Frolic Films, that put it out two years ago as a twofer. They do these double pack things. They're DVD-Rs, and they are clearly from VHS. This is not, or if it's not, it, it's not the world's best, but still it is clearly from a better source than VHS. Ghetto Blaster. I love this film. It's it's a low rent version of Walking Tall. That's what this is. It's exactly what this is. Uh, again, you can get it with two covers. They're kind of similar. Um, but I had a lot of fun with this one. At one point, um, what's the guy's name? Not written on here. I do not remember. Nobody that I can particularly remember. There's a photo there. He dresses up as a clown. And that scene's an absolute riot. Absolute riot. He dresses up as a clown. And it's Ghetto Blaster because he's blasting up the ghetto. Amazing. It's a good fun film. Go check out my review. I will actually link it in this, uh, in the description. Go check it out. One of my earliest reviews. I wonder if it still holds up. It's a good 12 years old, that. Anyway, this film still holds up. Ghetto Blaster. Very happy to have it. One day, I wonder if there'll be a widescreen release of Ghetto Blaster. That'll be the day. And the next one. This one uh, is a upgrade from a homebrew DVD. Uh, last year I did my little fan documentary Philippine Soldiers, the action films of Teddy Page. Uh, one of those films which I did not have on VHS, I did not have on DVD, I had on nothing. Couldn't find a copy of it anywhere. Uh, it was called Angel in the Dark, so I had to make my own from something I downloaded. I got wind about six months ago that there was a legit copy coming from Germany with its alternate title, Angel in the Dark aka Blood Brother 2. And there's that crazy guy that's in the film. Crazy, crazy thing. Uh, Romana, Christ Romana Christoph, Jim Gaines, the staple Philippine action stars. If you want to learn more about this film, go watch my Philippine soldiers. Again, I'll link to that in the description. Um, but it's Teddy Page. It's later Teddy Page. It's one of his uh, last three or four uh, English speaking films. But uh, it was good fun. Bit of a change up for Romano as well. Um, had to do a bit of protecting of the little girl kind of scenario, not just war hero. With machine gun uh, so yeah good fun lots of kicking and fighting and shooting the everything you need it's teddy page uh, print again not going to win any awards but it's fine it's serviceable it's better than what i had which was just a vhs rip on a dvdr and these are of course real silver discs so that's another win there you go with the wender cover same deal and uh yeah i mean i would prefer it actually had the name angel in the dark um not the blood brother 2 I think they've tried to shoehorn it into another series, Blood Brother, don't even know what that is. Blood Brother 3 follow this, but they're unrelated. One of them is Breathing Fire, I think, with Bolo. They're just unrelated films. But anyway, here, number two here, Champ Gigan Champ. 
whatever. Angel in the Dark, Teddy Page film. Very happy. And there is one Blu-ray, and that is how we're going to end it. And not only is it a Blu-ray, it is a media book Blu-ray. That is one of the other benefits of buying from Germany. If you like media books, you you go to Germany because they just love it. I don't know what the story is there, why uh, the German market is so hot for media books. Um, not only do you get the choice of one, but you often get three or four media books. They do them in runs of 500, 600, and they just keep doing it. It just seems to be popular enough. There must be a, a base for it. And one of them, this is the second time it's had a release on Blu-ray, and there's three covers to this reissue. This is gore, fantasy, uh, sword and sorcery, action adventure thing, gore, uh, part one and two. Really, really happy to have this one. I've always wanted to see Gore. Uh, it gets a bit of a bad rap, I think, but whatever. I, I just, I love my sword and sorcery films. I love the cover on this one. Look at that. Total Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Looks like the Deathstalker cover. Amazing. And yeah, we'll take a look at the media book in here. So there's the Blu-ray. Now it's important to know the uh, first film is in true HD. The second film, which is on the Blu-ray, is in standard definition. It looks fine. Uh, but the first film does look better. So must, they must just not have had a HD source prints, but whatever, you can't get them any other way. There's the uh, booklet, unfortunately, is in German. The other downside to buying German releases in media books, lots of pretty pictures, words you can't read. It's a bit of a shame, but yeah, there you go. That's gore. That's a cover that's uh, from one of the posters, I think, people are a bit more familiar with. And you get a DVD version of both of them as well. So. Yeah, gore. Look at that, a media book. Amazing. Anyway, just a short update. Basically, this whole thing was centered around me being excited that Amazon Germany is now shipping to me again, and maybe that's useful information to you as well. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, check out that guy. Check out that guy. See you all next time.